Welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be demonstrating five ways you can use Bitmoji with Schoology. They are adding a profile picture, creating an announcement, adding stickers to your folders or assignments, replying to your kids' discussion boards, and finally, adding an interactive classroom. Let's start with adding a profile picture so that your students can easily identify your course. They might have several classes and a colorful Bitmoji can help them find your course a lot quicker. Okay, so now I'm going to show you step by step how I created this profile picture. I use PowerPoint. I feel it's easier. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the box around just so that I know that I can keep everything inside. My dimensions, the dimensions that I used were 3.7 by 2 and you can see it in the bottom corner. I'm going to right click and format shape so that I can remove the inside. And you can leave the outside blue or I'm going to use a light gray. Next, I'm going to add that pink rectangle. So I'm going to insert again, shape, and drag the cursor to form a rectangle. You can use whatever shape you, whatever color you like. I'm going to use pink and I'm going to remove the outline around it so that it looks a little bit fancier. In order to add the text, I'm going to insert text and type my name, highlight, and the font that I used was Jill Sands, size 36. And I chose a font that I know everybody has in their computer. I know sometimes we see very nice um, fonts, but you sometimes have to download them or purchase them. And I'm going to make it white and make sure it fits right in there. And then I'm going to add another text box in the bottom. In order to put the grade level or section name. I'm going to write third grade. And the font that I used for that middle one was size 28, Century Gothic. And in case you're departmentalized, you might also have in the bottom um, the subject that you teach or section, something like that. That way students are clear on what they're clicking. In order to add this Bitmoji, you're going to go to your extension on Google Chrome. And the one that I chose, I type yay. And I scroll to the bottom. And you can choose anything you like, be creative. But this is the one I chose. I just drag it. If you are not able to drag it, then you can copy paste. And there you go. After that, you can take a screenshot, which is Command Shift 4. And I'm going to drag this little rectangle. And it's going to save it to your desktop. In order to add it, edit picture. And you attach the file right here. Next, I'm going to show you how to add an announcement to the top of your Schoology page. First, you're going to open up your Bitmoji Classroom from your Google Slides. Add a text box with whatever information you want to add here. Just simply go to Insert, Add a Text Box, and you can add um, reminders or schedule, contact list, to-do list. This is what I did just as an example. I'm going to take a screenshot. And then I'm going to go back to Schoology, go to Materials, Add Materials, and then go down to Add Page. Click on Insert contact, Content, Image, and you're going to attach the file that you just took a screenshot of. Once it uploads, you're going to drag it to the size that you prefer. Click on copy image 
you're not going to click on create, just simply X out, go back to updates, paste that image here, click on the plus sign, click on the bell and post. And your announcement will be ready so that your students can see this announcement no matter where they are in Schoology. Another way you can add Bitmojis to your Schoology is by adding them to assignments or to folders. What you're going to do is create a folder or select a folder that you want to add a Bitmoji to. Click on the gear button, click on edit, and then you're going to go up to your Bitmoji extension and type the subject or here I put exercise. So I'm going to use this one. It's pretty funny. I think my students will enjoy it. Put it the size that you want and then save. And there you go. You can decorate all your folders or add them to discussion boards just to make them think more and be more creative. Now I'm going to show you my favorite way to add a Bitmoji classrooms into Schoology. These are interactive classrooms. Interactive classrooms are classrooms that you can add links to so that when students click on it, they can interact with it, whether it's a word wall like this one or math manipulatives like these. I've even seen libraries um, with different themes of books and students can click on the books and it'll take them different places. I want to thank Ms. Kayla's virtual classrooms for lending these out to everybody on Instagram. So follow her. These are really neat. What an interactive classroom does like this one is when you have it as a published page or um, on presentation mode and the student clicks on the letter, it takes them to words of that letter and then they can go back and so on. So what you're gonna do is on your Google slide, you're gonna select the interactive classroom that you're going to use. You're gonna go to file, go down to publish to the web. You're going to click on link and you're going to select this link right here, command C in order to copy that link, then go back to Schoology. You're going to select the area where you're going to put it. I'm going to put it on my reading folder, add a materials, scroll down to add file link, click on link. In order to paste it, I'm going to click on command V, title. I'm going to uh, title it Word Wall. And then I'm going to click on the middle button so that it displays it in a new window whenever the students click on it. Students will see this link when they click on it. It'll open a new window and it'll still be interactive for them. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can add Bitmojis to a discussion board. For example, here I asked the class a question about what are they going to do this weekend? And a student answered that they're going to walk their puppy. You can reply by adding a Bitmoji. I'm going to select this one that says good job. When it's something like this in a reply, you won't be able to drag it. So you're going to have to copy the image and paste. Drag it down to the size that you want and it won't let you just post reply so you're going to have to type something else. I'm going to write I love puppies and post the reply. There are many more ways that you can use Bitmojis in your classroom. They are so much fun and I guarantee your kids will love their Schoology course. Especially if you teach elementary, this makes it more kid friendly and visual. Thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. I will be posting more teacher instructional videos like this.